Hey there, I'm Dr. Joe Cranin. It used to be that the only way to diagnose sleep apnea was to spend a night in a sleep lab, but those are costly tests and it means staying overnight somewhere that isn't your home. Today, more and more physicians are prescribing at-home sleep tests. In fact, about 70% of all sleep apnea testing is now done through one of these at-home sleep tests. So let's talk about what these at-home tests can do, how effective they might be, and why I recommend them to most of my patients. So here we have the WatchPat 1. This is a very commonly used home sleep apnea test. I like it a lot. There are three key components to it. Number one, this watch-like component. This goes around your wrist. It collects the data, and it also determines your body position and body movements. This component, this is really the business end of the unit, and this fits snugly over a finger. And the geniuses behind this technology have figured out a signature fingerprint, if you will, for what happens when you have an abnormal breathing event. There are certain characteristic changes in the finger artery, so it can accurately estimate how many times per hour you're having a breathing problem. This sensor here fits here at the upper end of your chest and it is used to detect snoring as well as respiratory effort. So respiratory effort is, are you trying to breathe or not? The WatchPat 1 is an example of a type four home sleep apnea test device. Another example would be the night owl. What are the other options out there that you might get prescribed? So the traditional home sleep apnea tests have a belt, across your chest, one belt, a pulse oximeter that measures your oxygen levels, a nasal cannula that measures airflow, and then something to record that generally sits on the belt, the brains of the unit that records the data and typically also records body position. Most of these are what we would call type three home sleep apnea tests. Then there's also a type two home sleep apnea test. These are seldom used. The type two accurately determines wake and sleep through EEG. So it has electrodes that you place on your head, which measure brain waves and determine if you're awake or asleep, and if you're asleep, what stages of sleep you're in. The gold standard for sleep testing is an in-lab polysomnogram or PSG. That said, at-home sleep apnea tests are excellent at answering the question of whether you have sleep apnea or not, and very good at determining the degree of sleep apnea. There are pros and there are drawbacks. The pros are it may be more valid because it's capturing you in your natural environment, doing the things that you normally do before bed, sleeping at your normal times. Drawbacks are there can be user error. So if you didn't apply the sensors right or they fall off during the night, we won't know it and we could get an invalid night of data. So it's a narrower scope of what we can find with the home sleep apnea test, but they do a really good job at answering the most commonly asked question, which is, do I have sleep apnea or not? Overall, the home sleep apnea tests that we have now are extremely accurate, very easy to use, and very good at answering the question of whether you have sleep apnea or not. There's no reason not to move forward with these. They're affordable, they're easy to do, they're a low hassle. I'd encourage you, if you have symptoms of sleep apnea, go to sleepapnea.org to learn more. And thank you for watching.